All right, how's it going? Uh, got back to tinkering with this. Uh, added on another another uh, version uh, that can be selected. Um, will be selected by uh, probably a rotary rotary switch um, on the side of the table. Uh, right now, I'm just doing it with a resistor and a, uh, a jumper that I'm having to to move to change uh, the version that I want I want to check out. So this is you know the original one, the uh, standard one. Um, that's all it does, you know, when it's held, like the middle one's being held right now, like if something was sitting on top of the table, you know, it just stays on. When it's removed, it goes into into uh, its little uh, its little fade back and forth. And uh, it's not going to be able to focus, I don't think. But uh, just swapping the um, pin. You can see that it it was already in the middle of something, and it goes. You know, it'll finish up uh, its its fade cycle. And then when it's held high, which I'm not even sure if it's going to pick that up or not. Uh, there we go. It's kind of picking it up there. The closer I get, you can see it. It's doing its uh, it's a real fast back and forth um, throb. And then when that's taken off, it does its normal fade. Really can't see it with this with this camera, but um, that's it for now. I'll add on a couple more a couple more ver versions. Um, looking at my input pins, um, looks like I only have enough room for one more. Um, well, no, I guess I can do if ands and if ors. Uh, that'll give me what six. So I'll have, I'll, if I do that, I'll have enough room for uh, four more. So we'll see how that works. Four more. Screw that. It'd be five or six more. I'm sorry, but I doubt it's going to be that many. I don't want to have that many options on it. But uh, that's it for now. I'll take it easy. Later.